Hi there! Today's video is about my top Arabic perfume recommendations. These perfumes are like top of top when it comes to Arabic perfumes because not only they are a very good clone of a popular niche fragrance but they also have an extremely good quality. These perfumes are all below, I must say, $90 or euros. And, you know, they are like in full sizes. Yeah, this will be very interesting probably for most of you out there. So let's get this video started. Um, by the way, if you're new here, my name is Joanna and I do perfume reviews and recommendations in my channel. Welcome. So, I'm going to start this video with one that is just so famous out there. Probably you have it already. And I'm talking about Shaghaf Oud by Swiss Arabian. This is Oud Bouquet from Lancome, okay? This has that famous DNA of rose, praline, vanilla, and saffron. Um, this is so spot on. This is creamy praline vanilla with touch of saffron and wood. This is very potent and intoxicating and definitely a winter must have. Um, don't be scared of that name wood in there. To me, this is a fr one of those friendly woods, okay? This is very creamy. Um, it is more creamy than woody. I don't know if that makes sense. Um, I think it's a combo of the praline and rose and, and that vanilla that makes this one just so um, creamy and intoxicating. I love this perfume. Um, to be honest, this was actually my birthday scent last year. I really enjoyed wearing this. Um, nobody will know that you are wearing <laughs> like a dupe of Oud Bouquet, I think. Um, very nice, nicely done. Shaghaf Oud by Swiss Arabian. By the way, all these perfumes are beast mode or shall I say, you don't need to overspray with these perfumes because they are potent. The next perfume is a fall staple. And to me, this is not a dupe of anything. But I am reminded of a certain perfume that I'm going to mention later. Um, Casablanca. Again, by Swiss Arabian. This is Apple Grapes Caramel Amber, Musk, and Iris. This is so refreshing. This is like a sparkling fruit punch with caramel drizzle. I love this one. I find it addicting, especially in the fall season to me this is like an autumn scent like definitely the scent lingers all day amazing projection amazing longevity and it's just so so good um this is like around 50 euros i think and for like what 100 ml or i think this is 75 only um, yeah, 100 ml for like 50 something euros. Absolute bargain. Um, I love this perfume. Highly recommend because this um, smells like an expensive uh, perfume, in my opinion. Just for that longevity and projection, <laughs> it is something else, all right? Um, so I mentioned that this perfume reminds me of a perfume, of another uh, perfume that is quite expensive. And I'm talking about the La Danza del Libelou 
1942. I don't know if I pronounce it right. But if you are eyeing for that particular perfume, La Danza 1942, and if you don't want to pay, uh, you know, a lot, you can just get this Casablanca and you will be sorted. I'm telling you, I am confident about that. Next perfume is very hyped in social media right now and I must say for a reason and this is Nebras by Latafa oh my god this has red berries orange vanilla cacao and rose grounded with sugar tonka amber and musk really really beautiful um this for me is the best arabic gourmand that i have ever tried and have tried a lot of them all right i heard that this is a dupe for billy eilish i haven't tried that one but I must say that this has the same vibe uh, like Lyra, you know, that uh, citrusy gourmand. They are not the same. It's just the vibe, you know. Mm. So the Lyra is more of like a lemon cheesecake. And this one, instead of lemons, it has berries and cacao. Mmm so delightful i must say this has to be a winter staple i love this scent and this is like what 40 something euros or dollars for a hundred definitely try this out i highly recommend and nebras by latafa next is mm, one of my favorite discoveries of 2022 and i'm talking about Kaltat night by alatar collection this is cinnamon cherry vanilla patchouli red apple and musk most people compare this to angel share but i must say not really this is like angel share with cherry um i think this is closer to ojon uh, by perfumes tamale this is very boozy and spicy gourmand that smells addictive and expensive in my opinion this is again like 50 or 60 euros for a full bottle for 100 ml beautiful beautiful boozy spicy gourmand Kaltat night by atar collection next perfume oh, is another um, high fragrance right now in social media and i'm talking about camera by latafa once again and just by looking at the bottle you probably know <laughs> Um, which perfume is connected with this one. They say that this is a dupe of Angel Share, all right? But, okay, in my opinion, it's not a dupe of Angel Share. This is a scent of its own, all right? This has cinnamon as well, nutmeg, bergamot, dates, praline, vanilla, tonka bean, and akigala wood. This is so sweet, spicy, and woody, especially on the skin. Um, if you actually smell the bottle, you don't really get um, the scent that you're gonna experience. Okay, let me now spray it. It can be a little bit uh, alcoholic in the opening, but as it dries down, you will be left 
with this alluring and sensual perfume i love this one um it stays all, all day long as well beautiful longevity and projection mm. it is sweet but to me it's just a perfect amount of sweetness um Mm, so nice sweet spicy and woody in that order that's the experience of this perfume i love it and highly highly recommend um camera by latafa and guess what this is under 50 euros dollars as well all right so my last two perfumes are inspired by a very famous fragrance all right you know what i've only tried um that perfume i'm gonna mention it anyway <laughs> the last two perfumes are uh dupe dupes of delina i never tried no i have tried delina because i once had a sample size of it it is nice, beautiful, you know, but to me, everybody has it already. And it has the tartness that I didn't really like, so I didn't bother buying a full bottle. But then, I got these two perfumes, and I kid you not, in my opinion, these are better than the Rina, in my humble opinion, okay? First off is Rose 01 by Swiss Arabian. This is around 70 euros or dollars as well. This has, you know, of course, that famous lychee, rose, and musk, pink pepper. Mm. But to me, this is fresher and richer. This is like 98% Delina. This doesn't have the rhubarb so you won't experience that darkness um this is very rosy um you know sweet and musky i absolutely love this one nobody will ever think that you are wearing something that is not that expensive this definitely smells expensive in my humble opinion and the next perfume is another dupe of Delina as well but this one is so good as well and I'm talking about Arte Bellissimo um, Romantique by Orientica this one actually doesn't have lychee in it but of course it has rose peach blossom nutmeg citruses peony and musk so um this has more of that citrus and lychee vibe it doesn't have a rhubarb but it has citruses in it like bergamot and grapefruit i think um, this is a perfect balance of sweet creaminess and fresh citrus. Um, this is such a beautiful scent that lingers as well all day long. Um, if I have to choose between the two, for my taste... I think I will go for Rose 01 because this one has those uh, citruses in it. It's not tarty still, but I prefer the lychee and rose combo of this one. But I am happy to have them both in my collection. It's just that if you can ask me, oh, Joanna, what if you can only have one? I will choose Rose 01. Um, both have amazing um, longevity and projection. So, yeah, very spring and summer uh, must-have. 
Um, by the way, I just want to quickly mention about this brand, Orientica, because I have tried a lot of their perfumes, all right? And since I'm coming to Dubai um, next month, I'm planning to purchase actually more. I find um, perfumes from Orientica very high quality. I highly, highly recommend you trying them out. I think there is um, also a dupe of Gentle Fluidity Gold in there. Um, it comes in a purple bottle, I think. That one is really good too. Um, yeah, really nice. Just really great brand in general. If I have to suggest one um, brand, I'm gonna say Orientica. Just because the quality is there, you know, from the packaging to the scent and overall um, longevity and projection. Um, yeah, so that ends the video for today. I hope that you enjoyed it and I somehow influenced you to try an Arabic fragrance if you haven't already. Um, yeah, so if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't yet for more content of like this. Yeah, so that's all for today. Goodbye, guys, and see you on my next one.